Welcome to Dublin, Ireland, a city that when most people visit, they visit Temple Bar, the other side of the uh, River Liffey, just behind me, and they engage in some of the wonderful Irish hospitality there. But this is also quite a troubled city in 2023. A lot of the locals that I've spoken to aren't happy with the direction that the city's going in. There's a lot of homelessness, a lot of addiction on the streets, and also a lot of antisocial behavior is being reported. People are saying that there aren't enough police, enough guarders on the streets. But today is gonna to be a slightly different video because I'm gonna take 100 euros and I'm gonna to go to as many markets and locally owned businesses as I can and try and get as much stuff together to help a homeless guy that I met yesterday who's living in a tent on the streets and has been for eight months. So as many warm clothes, as many toiletries and as much food as possible to help him as he starts to approach the winter. So join me folks, let's see how truly hospitable the Irish really are and how much they'll help me out on this mission. Let's go. I'm in the Liberty Market area of the city, which isn't far from the Guinness storehouse, which is just over there. And I've seen this shop, I'm buying clothes for a homeless person. I was thinking about getting him a body warmer. Who's in charge, this guy there, yeah. What do you recommend for somebody that's gonna be in a tent all winter? And what are the prices? Because the best price I get, the yeah. more I can buy for him, you know what I mean? I've yeah. got 100 euro. Them body warmers only sell under 40 euro. 40 euro? Yeah. Is that the best price? Yeah, because I can give you a jacket for the same price. Can you show me those as well? Yeah, 65. They're 65. I can give one for 40. Can you go even lower on the body warmer? Because I think he's already got a coat, yeah. you see. So I was trying to give him something extra, yeah. but better prices I get because I've got 100 euro. I can get him more, do you know what I mean? So I might get a hat as well for him. That's yeah. a medium body yeah. warmer, which I think will help under his coat. I'll show you now, right? So he's medium, right? Yeah, so he looks want, medium to me. Right, you want to say that? You want a black hat? Yeah. Okay, right, do you want yeah. the tracksuit for him? I don't think I want a tracksuit as right. well. No, I've got to watch because I want to get him some food uh, and yeah. some like toiletries and stuff yeah, yeah, as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if I blow the 100 euros with you, how much can you do the hat and that for? I'll give you that throw it in, right? You sure? That's right. amazing, and yeah. They, uh, which of them hats again? Seven. seven. Like it should be 47 or 30. I'm losing money. I don't want you to lose money. So, well, yeah. Uh, if you're helping someone. I am helping someone, yeah, but I want you to make a little bit of. What's your name, mate? Joe. Joe. Wendell. Right. Nice to meet you, Joe. That's really kind, yeah. Thank you, Joe. I appreciate it, mate. There's socks as well, mate. Oh. I'm going to give you 40 for all that. No. Because it's only fair. 40 euro, dear me. 40 euro. Joe. Honestly. Joe is trying to give stuff away now. I don't want Joe to lose money because I want everybody to at least break even. No. Joe, can you hold that wallet and putting that at me while I uh, get my money out? And my little secret stash. <laughs> Joe, Joe is the director, mate. He's got to point it at my face. I'm the, I'm the minister of our broken biscuits. Right? I'm going to give you all my fibers, Joe. No, I want Joe. 30, yeah, 30. You want 30? Yeah. I'm but for some reason I'm bartering up now. I'm trying to give him more. <laughs> 20, 25, 30. I'm, Joe, I'm going to give you 35. No, 30 euro will hear me. Joe is the most. <laughs> 30 euro. Right. Joe okay. is the most helpful and honest person in Dublin. You could be Louis Daphne in one day. Everyone is just one bad paycheck away, mate. Joe, that is amazing, my friend. No problem. I shake your hand. Right. Thank you so much, okay. Joe. The around here is good. Yeah. Like it seems it, yeah. yeah. It's it's probably the most welcoming street I've yeah. been to in Dublin so far. Thank you so much, ladies. Joe! Thank you, Joe. I appreciate it, mate. What a legend. As soon as Joe realised what I was doing, he basically just kept throwing stuff in the bag for free. So we've got socks, a hat, and a body warmer for 30 euros, which is definitely going to help this chap out. In the end, I was trying to barter Joe up because I don't want him to lose money but he was adamant that he wanted this person to get as much as possible. You don't have to come far out of the city centre to find the real, genuine Irish people. Yeah. 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 I'm so and glad around, I came to I this area. I'm around here, all the people around is kind. They yeah. are. Is this the Liberties, yeah? This yeah. is yeah. the heart of the Liberties. Yeah, yeah. Have you lived here all your life? Have you yeah, lived yeah, in the Liberties yeah. all your life? Well, you know how, how, how did it get its name? I'll tell you how it got its name. Henry II came over here, out of exile. And he gave the people of Dublin their liberties. If you lived within the walls, anybody who lived within the walls didn't pay taxes. And to this day, they still believe that law stands. Does it? <laughs> it does. <laughs> Is it safe these days in this area? Everywhere is the same nowadays. People are just come out.
I want to get him some toiletries, some soap, some toothpaste. He might you know, have them there now. You'd need. I, I have enough. Which guy? That guy? He's just, just beside the chipper here. The yeah? guy with the body warmer on? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Okay. Is this your shop, mate? I've been told to come up by that guy there. I need like toiletries and things like that, like toothpaste, deodorant, soap. Do you sell that here? Yeah. Yeah. I need it's him. Like on, is it? Yeah, but I'm filming me at the moment. Oh, I'm not right. filming you, yeah. <laughs> but it would really help. It would really help if I could film myself buying some stuff off you. Yeah. 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 But even your man here can can point it at me. Well, once, once yeah, look. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm a bit. Point it at me. <laughs> I'll catch her. <laughs> We're trying to give a positive impression to the people yeah, in this area. <laughs> Do you work here? You just his no, mate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Genuinely thought you were going to run off there, no, mate. No, he wouldn't. Pop up, I'm pretty fast out the blocks, though. I tell you. Because obviously people don't realise when they're on the streets. Oh, yeah, no. Like, they, they think, oh, they need clothes. And, but they don't think that they need, like, toothpaste, we're all, we're all soap. If, if you were trying to... If you were homeless, do me a little package. You know, like, oh, soap, toothpaste, toothbrush. There's toothpaste and uh, things together. That's like, useful, yeah. Yeah, like, they're only a euro as well. Like, you yeah, know? brilliant, mate, yeah. Uh, soap. Yeah, throw them all on here. Yeah. We do my little package, yeah. Um what what else? Like hand wipes, like um He does that he, yeah, he was stubbly, but I think he does shave, so Yeah, yeah, of course. For uh, you wouldn't buy any of them because they're uh, It needs need disposable, yeah. Yeah, so it's gotta be good to go, ready to go. Yeah. Um does he need shaving foam? Yeah, yeah, that's that's cheap in that one. Yeah. Um shaving foam, soap just I, I was thinking as well because obviously it's incredibly yeah. like unhygienic living in a tent on the yeah, streets. 100%. What about like antibacterial hand stuff or wipes? Baby wipes. Baby wipes. Yeah. yeah, yeah you know, that, uh, I think to be honest, mate, let's get a couple of packs of those yeah. because a lot of the time he's not going to be able to have a shower. How much for all that, mate? Ten. Ten. Sure. Ten Can you point yeah. it at me again? Yeah. Yeah. yeah you're going to film no. the interaction, and he's not going to run off this time. Right. Ten euro. Ten euro. Thank sure. you. Very gentle. Brilliant. And. Uh, yeah, just if you can chuck it all in my big bag there. That's really helpful, mate. That'll no do him for a couple of weeks, won't it? That's a... What's your name, mate? Uh, Philip. Philip. Yeah. Wendell. Wendell, pleased to meet you. Nice Wendell. to meet you, mate. Thank you very much. We're going to make one person's day a bit better today. Yeah, so. definitely. I'll throw that in for free. Oh, right? look at this. Everywhere I go, the people are like about that. Trying, to, yeah. trying to help more and more. Look at the hospitality of these small Irish businesses as I come into this neighbourhood. Absolutely warm, welcoming, and going out of their way to try and help this person that they've never met. When most tourists visit Dublin, Ireland, they visit Temple Bar and enjoy the famous Irish hospitality. But Dublin also has a reputation as a very rough and ready city. It's got some areas which are designated as no-go zones and housing developments just like this one which are uh, very unwelcoming only half a kilometre from the city centre it's not, it's not safe sometimes no, no, no. it feels edgy yeah. I feel, yeah, if that's, you know it feels like there's a little bit of an edge to it it's gone so this is the centre of uh, the tourist area for Dublin this is Temple Bar this is the area where most people who come to visit will spend a lot of their time they uh, will probably get the most expensive pint of Guinness they've ever drank in their lives at the Temple Bar pub there. Very much a place that's made to feel safe and accessible for tourists, but in my mind it doesn't really sum up what the atmosphere, what the feeling's like in Dublin in general. Are you the boss, my love? I've got a, I'm spending 100 euros, not yeah, just with you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and there's a homeless guy I met yesterday and I'm getting him clothes, ah, uh, toiletries, all that. What size is he? He's like a medium. Medium, yeah. Well, he's a medium, get my large, because they're small fitting. Get yeah. my large jacket, there's a lovely jacket. Is that a, that's a medium, isn't it? Yeah, yeah but I'll give you a large in it. There's a large in it. They're 40. So, they're 40. Is that yeah. the best price you can do? For, uh, because obviously, like, you know, the more I spend, the less other things I can get for him. I know, yeah. I know. I'll give you a heavy one that's, that's 60 and I'll give it to you for 40. Okay, love, yeah. They're and then he can put that over his body warmer, yeah? Yeah. The labels are yeah, come off that one. Yeah. Um, I, got, I, know, I know he's on the streets, but he's, he's got to have all the, uh, oh, all, yeah. all the figures on it to start with. Four, yeah. What size is that? Yeah, that's 2X, but they're very, very small. Okay. He'd need that for 
Jamie, put that on your face. Can you, yeah, can you like, Jamie can you get someone to model it? Yeah. Oh, I'm I losing all my stuff. Modeler. You're my model. Yeah. What's your name, mate? Seamus. Seamus, you're the model. So this is supposed to be a 2XL. Seamus, you look like a medium. Oh yeah, oh, my mate, if I take out my shorts, you'd say I'm a lad. <laughs> <laughs> Not in the street. That's Not until we've had a Guinness. Yeah. Yeah. That's there, man. I like the hoodie on that. Yeah, I That's like a... that as well. I like that grey yoke. Yeah. Warm, Jamie. See, yes. Now you see. See? Yeah, warm ah, for the winter. Man, and it's harmless. He'll have something heavy underneath. underneath. Yeah, so he can have his body yeah, warmer underneath. Yeah. You, you know go. what I mean? Hey, uh, you figure that? 40 euro. I was harmless myself. Were you? So now Where were you homeless in Dublin? All over. Yeah. He's all right, buddy. I tell you, he's the best of a mother. The best of a mother. So that's the, that's the best price, 40? Well, it is 60, I'm giving you for 40. So I've got 30% discount already. Oh, yeah. Seamus, can you, can you hold the camera while I get the money out the, uh, yeah, yes, the special yeah. security yeah. pocket? Yeah, I'm fair play to doing this. Yeah. You've got to I point it see. straight to the Seamus. Yeah, I am. Go ahead, my friend. So I've this got loads of fives. This man is doing the homeless. And this is for the homeless, a gift for someone. Absolutely, mate. So if you follow this man on YouTube, <laughs> please donate something, please. Yes. Show him a talk Donate sense. something to him. He, well, donate, you know. donate to, don't donate to me, because the channel gets a lot of views. Yeah. What I say is that if you see somebody homeless, in your them neighborhood, nice. yeah. sort them out. No. How you doing? Buy them something nice, it's yeah. Christmas. We all need someone to do something. Everyone needs someone to love. Yes, yes. 40 yes. euro. Right. And thank you're the you. boss. What, what's the boss's name? Mary. Mary from the dairy. Mary, Mary from, the, from dairy. the dairy. But you're not you're not selling any dairy to me, Mary. No, oh, no, no. Mary no. has no dairy no. today. My, my, name, is, back, my name is Bridget. 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 Yeah. How are you, love? There's a girl from the inner sea. Born 42 <laughs> Mary. years. Mary. Third generation, 42 years. So you're Dublin born and bred? Oh, oh yes. 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 We're, we're Dublin, born and bred. Down here. Down what did, the, what, here's a question, yes. because I haven't been here for 10 yeah, years, yes, 9 yes, years, yes. and it feels a lot different. Oh, yes. It feels yes. a lot more edgy yes. and dangerous. Uh, it is edgy and dangerous, and yeah. it's just uh, an awful lot of different, different nationalities now, isn't it? It's Completely not, it's not Air Ireland anymore. No. Completely not Air Ireland anymore. No. I, I don't serve to Irish people anymore. No one, no one, no one has anything against them. But, but the government shouldn't forget their own people. We, have, yeah. we haven't got Dublin anymore. If, if people go down there, that's junkie land, a toilet, everything. We need their Dublin back. I'm a third generation and I've never seen anything what's going on now. I don't feel that safe walking around the city centre. No, and they're not the only ones. I don't see my customers anymore. Do you they think they're scared to come here? They, they, they told me that. Oh, they told me, I'm buying off you today, but you won't be seeing me anymore. We're finished coming into town. How long have you been trading in this spot? 44 years. So there you go, folks. You heard it from Bridget, the true Irish, the genuine locals. They are not happy with the state of the city centre. And she thinks a lot can be done to improve it. She thinks it's definitely gone to the dogs. I'm going to go to Moore Street now, which is the traditional market street of the city. And I'm going to see if I can get some food for this gentleman that I met and see if anybody can give me some good produce for him, some stuff that will improve his health and also some tasty stuff. What have you got? What would you recommend? Well, fruit? Well, well, buy 10 euro off one and then come up to me and buy 10 euro off me, will you? Yeah, of course, yeah. Right, as long as you've got good stuff and it's going to, yeah, you know, like he's yeah. got to spend the winter yeah. on the streets. Yeah, and yeah. Good that, fruit, yeah. maybe stuff. Have you got like stuff that's non perishable as well? Like no, stuff we don't sell fruit just and fruit and veg, yeah. Yeah, right, so look, I'm. Um, Where are you? I'll, so I'll show you up to one now. Yeah, I'll bring you up. One, okay. one euro this. Yeah. I'm going to give you this. These are lovely, right? One euro for him. And this lady is buying you one euro as well. That's really kind. It's for a, a person it's who lives on the other side of uh, the other side of the city. Yeah, yeah that's I'm really kind. You one euro free as well, right? Yeah, no problem. A mixture of stuff. Yeah, you know, the vitamin C is going to be very important for him. Very, yeah. very important. How long have you been trading here? I'm here um, 42 years. 42 years? Yes. Yeah. This is a fourth generation stall. Yeah, and it's not full market day today, is it? No, no. That's like, does that start tomorrow or the Thursday, weekend? Thursday, Friday and Saturday we'd be... A lot more stalls, lot yeah. More, yeah. I mean, I haven't been to Dublin for 10 years and I've noticed a big change. Oh, a major change. How, how, how do you find Dublin now? It's gone terrible. It's really... There's not enough police, we haven't got enough guards. So what's going in here? Can I film in I the bag? Have, yeah, I have lovely mandrels that will last 
Love the apples. Yeah. You'll get it two weeks out of them apples. Well, yeah. Definitely get two weeks out yeah. of them. And I have lovely grapes so you'll get two weeks out of as well. Yeah. So. Especially with it being colder outside now. So you think it's gone downhill? Oh, it's gone downhill big time. There's too much antisocial behaviour going on, you know. You feel it's dangerous? You feel like yeah, vulnerable yeah, working on yeah. the streets? Yeah, definitely, yeah. It's really bad. What have you seen here on Moore Street? Have you seen anything happen? See the way it's quiet today. Now in the next 10 minutes there could be a riot. You think it kicks off all it the just time? Kicks, oh, every day. It just always something going on. I'll be honest every with you. I've day. seen videos on YouTube and yeah. Facebook of fights just yeah. kicking off right here. Every day that'll go on. It's real quiet now and all of a sudden everything will change. What, what starts scrapping? Well, I'm not being raised as a rat night -er. There's an awful lot of Romanians, I've, they stand there I've drinking. seen them on the corner there, they're yeah. They're drinking, you know what I mean? And then they're fighting with each other when they... So the booze kicks the in. The booze kicks in. They do stupid stuff. And they're not even drinking lager, they're drinking vodka and brandy. Yeah. So then they go off their head. Is it heavy? I've got to carry this I know, yeah. about I two miles. I down to Siobhan now. But it's worth it. Yeah. I'm going to need a wheelbarrow. I'm charging you six euro. Yeah. That lady, so you've only to give me seven euro. Okay, love, yeah. And you gave me a euro towards it all. Me, yeah. That's really kind of you. What's your name, my love? Stella. Stella. Thank you, Stella. Now, honey. Okay. Right. I'm going to bring you down to Siobhan. Siobhan will look after you now. No problem. But I've got to give you seven, seven. euro. Yeah. Mom Thanks, said honey. For the seven euro. Thank you. So, so Stella. Five euros. I'll pay oh, okay. So I'm yeah, giving you five. five. Euro. Yeah. Stella, you're a sweetheart. Thank you so much, Stella. That's Thank you. Harder. Thank you so much. That's Thank nice, you. Isn't it? Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. So, it, like, the, the picture I'm getting is that Dublin's definitely gone downhill. But when you meet the people, people the are people lovely. are lovely. Yeah, people yeah. are still lovely. But there's all this antisocial behaviour. Anti if that was sorted, we'd be grand. Yeah. We'd be grand. Yeah. Yeah. We're all. You're on the street. You're agitated. If you're yeah. not comfortable, you begin yeah. to. Yeah. You begin to give yeah. Out. yeah, if you put people in bad surroundings, they start to do bad things. Yeah. That's the exactly. science of it. That's exactly it. Thank you so much, Caroline. Thank you for talking to me. And I've got a lot of stuff to carry. Thank you, Stella. Thank you, and you. You've gone home to Siobhan now. Where's Siobhan? I'm going to bring you down to look after you. We're following Caroline. I'm the Queen of Moore Street. The Queen of Moore Street. Does everybody call you that, or is that a, is that a crown that you've uh, self-appointed? Yeah. <laughs> Some call me a lot different things, you know, horrible names. But well, I can't imagine that from meeting you. She, she does. <laughs> Mary calls me awful names. Is that right, Aaron? Uh, no, that's the rumours aren't true. What do you call me, Mary? Sweetie pie. Sweetie pie. Siobhan. First of all, I've got so much stuff already. Yeah. Weight is an issue. Right. So can I just stash back there so yeah. it doesn't go walkies? I've got like 10 euros left. Right, so... I want to get him good stuff. Yeah. But weight is now a problem because I've got to walk to the other side of the city about two okay, miles. Darling. And I don't have a wheelbarrow. What have you got? What would you like? I have absolutely everything. So you, you just tell me... What are these apples here? Wine apples. It's got to be yeah, stuff. Pomegranates. pomegranates. Let's get him some pomegranates. Right, so they're three for two fifty. Yeah. I'll give you. I'll give you them. Uh, I'll give you four of them for two euro just for because okay, for a sure. harmless fella. Yeah, thank you. I think he'll enjoy the pomegranates. Yeah, and they're very good. For because him. he's from uh, a part of the world originally where they eat pomegranates quite a lot. Lovely. So, yeah. And what about melon? Melon. Is it heavy? Throw a couple in. Yeah. What about some plums? Plums, juice yeah. Plums, Let's do some plums. Can you can you like bag those up inside there so the juice doesn't go anywhere? Yeah, yeah, yeah. perfect. Yeah, I'll do that last. Um, what about some pineapple? A beautiful pineapple. I'm worried about the weight with no, a pineapple. No, I could take the head off for you. Yeah, do that, and then uh, <laughs> yeah. we have got a deal. Yeah? yeah. Look at how much stuff I've got. I've got beautiful nectarine, sweetheart. Yeah. Sweetheart, nat nectarine. Sure. Yeah. Throw them in. How the hell I'm going to carry this all the way across Dublin City to this man? I give you uh, two box of grapes also, I like. Sure, throw them in. You want to get a wheelbarrow for all that stuff? Uh, Jesus, yeah. It's for a homeless fan. <laughs> this uh, this guy's not going to know what. He can start his own fruit and veg yeah. store. I knew twenty euro, but a tenner is, is wonderful. So that's I mean it looks like more than twenty euros worth of stuff. <laughs> can you point that on me, I nice can. and steady, yeah, while yeah. I go into the uh, secret security pocket? Yeah. That is one hundred <laughs> euros spent feeding and clothing fair and place, yeah. a lot of cleaning products that's, in there as well. That's fair play Look too. at the size of all this stuff. The world needs more of you. 
Now I've got to find my way across the other side of the city with about 20 kilos worth of stuff. I'm in a world of trouble. I didn't realise that when you ask for kindness from strangers that 100 euros could go so far. Um, I'm going to look now. But... Yeah, because I'm losing my grapes. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. that's got to help. Wouldn't it? Yeah. So I think if I pick these up like that, and then that one like that, you can put that in my finger. You hand that up to them. In those. There you go, and darling. This is how, now, I'm obviously not going to film myself walking to catch this buzz or even two miles across Dublin, but I can definitely get moving like this. Siobhan, Fair thank you so much. You. You're very welcome. Yeah, you people are so kind. Very thank welcome. You. I'll take that Well back. done. How do you find that Dublin's been in the last 10 years? Changed. I haven't been lot. for 10 years, nearly 10 years. And I'd say it's a big difference for you, is it? Massive, yeah. yeah. yeah not good. It doesn't feel it's safe. Not, no, it's not a good city anymore. <laughs> thank you, Siobhan. You're welcome. Thank you. Lovely Cheers. to meet you. Lovely to meet you, mother. Yeah, thank you. So I've had to get a taxi. There's no way I can even get the buzz laden down with all that fruit. Oh, mate. If you do a torn, a good torn, it comes back to you. So it's always someone worse off than you. Your mother used to always say that, bro. How is um, driving a taxi in the city centre? Is right. it dangerous? Yes, that's what the screen. I put that up for COVID. Now yeah, it in. just you as know? as a barrier, yeah. Yeah, it's something. No, if somebody kicked off, that wouldn't do a lot, would it? Ah, but well, still, you have a bit of chance. You know? Yeah, if they're spitting or bleeding. Yeah. 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 It's terrible. Oh, the, and there's not a guard. Look around you. You're on the main bridge now. O'Connell Bridge. No guarders. Look around you. Do you see a guard? No. Take a photograph. You won't see him again. You're a good man to be doing this for people, huh? Yeah, well, if, if I didn't make the videos, I wouldn't be able to do it. Um, no, no. But I, you know, I, I yeah. can help some people now. And if I, yeah. you know, I meet a lot of people that aren't genuine. Yeah. But this guy yeah. I met, he seemed quite genuine. Yeah. So yeah. if I was going to help someone today, it was going to be him. Fair play, bro. Fair play, Jim. We need more people like you, and that's the truth. Well, the good thing about the videos is yeah. that you know people watch them all around the world. Yeah. If they go out into their community and help one person. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, then, then surely that can make the world a better I place. You, you can do a torn, do a good one, not a bad one, my mother used to say. What's your name, mate? Des. Des. Yeah. Nice to meet you, Des. And yourself, my friend. Ten out ten to you. You Dublin born and bred? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. But I've never seen the city. It's a changed city since I was a lad, you know? Yeah. And it, like, a city is only bricks and mortar. It's the people who's running it. Yeah. And believe me, we have a bad show at the moment. Yeah. yeah? There was a few here living in tents, but maybe you say it's the last one, is he? He's the last one, yeah. Is he? I was there with him yesterday. Yeah. Um, yeah. And because he's got no kids or anything with him, he's a single male. A single male. You know how Everybody else happens. has been housed, yeah. but he hasn't. Yeah, but his, atti his attitude was very positive, and yeah. I spend a lot of time yeah. with people on the streets yeah. doing these videos, yeah. and I can kind of sense whether people are genuine, genuine or not. Yeah, yeah. I agree with you. Yeah, yeah. Hold on to that one, man. Thank you. Right, if you just pop that on the pavement there, maybe up against this wall. Yeah. Can I pay your card? Hey, Richard. Put it in your pocket. Oh, don't be daft, mate. No, Put in your don't pocket. be daft. What's your name, my friend? Des. Des, thank you so much, no, Des. Pocket. You're a good man. You look out to sir. I will do. Nice me. You're a good man. Any time. Thank you. You take it easy. Take man. it easy. We need more people like you. Thank you, Des. You're a... Honestly, that's nearly brought me to tears. Des has um, dropped me off for free. The kindness of the Irish is overwhelming. Now, let's see if this gentleman is still in his tent. Mohammed! Yeah. Mohammed, it's. It's Wendell from yesterday. How are you, mate? I'm good. So I met this gentleman yesterday. He's on the streets here. Literally living in this tent on the streets. And I thought you were quite a genuine case when I spoke to you, my friend. Yeah. So I've gone round Dublin today yeah. with 100 euros and I've bought as much food and clothing and toiletries to help you for winter as yeah. I possibly can. And so many Irish people have helped me out so much. So. In here are coats, hoodies, uh, toiletries, shaving, man, yeah, soap. Yeah. Hang on. So I went down to the market oh, and I didn't expect there to be so much stuff. 
They've given me like probably like a month's supplies of fruit and food for you. Yeah, thanks very much, but I think this is a lot. It's a lot. Yeah. Now, I, I, it's probably, I didn't expect them to give me this much, but it's probably too much for you. So yeah. if you can give it to other people as well, yeah, anybody yeah. you know, other people for the refugees on the streets or Irish homeless or people. Homeless, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll show you what I've got. Will you, will you film the bag for me? Just point yeah. it, just point it at there. Yeah, so in here there's, um, there's a nice big North Face coat. Mm -hmm. Nice and trendy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, thank you, man. Um, that's that. Then here, there's a body warmer, the same. There's um, socks and a hat somewhere. In here, toiletries. Blood pressure. Yeah, um, and uh, like baby wipes to clean. And then in here, so much fruit. It's unbelievable. This is enough for 10 people. Yeah, so you maybe don't need it, but you yeah, know yeah. people in this area. Yeah, I know people in this area, homeless or yeah. refugee or... Yeah. yeah, so if you can pay it forward for me as well, you're a man on the streets here, you come across as a really genuine, honest man. Yeah. And I appreciate your story. I appreciate what you've gone through to get here. I appreciate it too, man. I, I, just, I just want you to pay it forward, you know. I want you to take yeah. what you need. Maybe you've got a coat, maybe you haven't. But if somebody else needs something, yeah then help them out man. And how long have you been in the tent here? Eight months. Eight months. Yeah, yeah. I wait for uh, work paper, you know, as work I paper. can work. And... How, how far away is your work paper, do you think? How much longer will you have to wait on the street here? Also, normally for refugees you have to wait five months. After five months you can apply. And when you apply, they take time to three months, four months. Yeah. So maybe it could be one month, two months more. Yeah, yeah. And then you'll be able to get some work, get yourself into a house. Exactly. Yeah. That's, as well, and and build a life. Hostel or share room, anything, you know, it's yeah. better for this place. Thanks very much, man. This yeah. is a good country with good people. Yeah, yeah. It's suffering a little bit at the moment, some social problems, but they are good people. Yeah, from the, from the people here, there's a lot better. Also, everywhere there's good people and bad, but in this country, exactly, I saw. The people know good, you know, they help for good. They help you because you need really help and they know good. Yeah. That's is good in this country. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and then in the night I go see some homeless people here in the near, some yeah. people living here. You can I put think. it in your tent yeah, and then yeah. one by one. I did get you some pomegranates because... Uh, do you eat pomegranates in Syria? What's pomegranates? Pomegranates. I don't know even in this. Uh, oh. They've got little red seeds. I'm sure that people in the Arabic world eat a lot of pomegranates. Oh, yeah, yeah. What do you call them? Uh, Roman. Roman. Yeah. 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 So in the, I went to Morocco oh, and yeah. um, the Arabic world, people love pomegranate yeah, yeah, juice no, and pomegranates. Very good for so when I saw them, I thought Mohammed would like those. Uh, thank you very much, man. Legend, mate. So there you go, folks. The generosity of the Irish people has really helped out that man living in that tent there. I think that's 100 euros well spent. And that 100 euros went so much further with the generosity of the good Irish people. I was overwhelmed and for some reason, the taxi driver at the end, Des, giving me a free ride. He didn't have to do that. It, uh, it really touched me. And so I think there's been a lot of kindness from all those people that's paid forward to Mohammed there, living in the tent on the street corner. And then I'm sure Mohammed will pay that forward himself. Dublin, not a happy city. A complicated city at the moment with a lot of issues. A lot of homeless issues, a lot of street addiction issues, and the local people aren't happy with the way the city's going, but you've seen that they still have an incredibly kind heart. Thanks for watching, folks.